She's a soulful singer. She sings with so much passion, and her live performances are absolutely fantastic. Lady J is in the house. Hi, Lady J. Hi, I'm excited to be hey, here. Come on. Good morning, people. Come on. <laughs> That's what I like. How are you? I'm amazing. Ah, and you? Very, very well, thank you. It's I'm really so good to have you. Yes. We met like years ago, so many yes. years ago, well over. Almost like 10 years ago, really. Let's just really let's yes. clear 10 years. Yes, and, and you were doing your thing at the time. And I mean, when you look at, you know, the list of, you know, mainstream artists here in Ghana, you know, your name is not exactly at the top, top, top yes, there. Yes, we're getting there. You're getting there. Would you say that you've, you've struggled in the industry? Um, for me, I think, yes, I have struggled in the industry. Mm -hmm. But what gives me comfort is that music is not a competition. Okay. So... Whether so far or not, at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. the work could talk. Mm. So that's what we're, we're, we just keep working because at the end of the day, that's what matters. That's what matters. <laughs> yes. Interesting. And so, so what was your um, goal when you started? Did you see yourself niche? Because you right now are, you know, a, a niched um, artist. Yes. Uh, you do a lot of the live shows. You have your soulful music going on. And Ghanaians yes. don't really do. I think this particular song was quite different from what yes. I know you for yes exactly so would you say that that's the kind of vibe that you were going for to be in a niche or you wanted to be worldwide or nationwide no this is what i learned in 10 years you can you can love the music you love mm -hmm. right you can do the music you want to do but mm -hmm. in ghana <laughs> if you want the attention you have to break just a little bit mm -hmm. i didn't want to break because i felt like or like I was selling out okay. or like I wasn't staying true to myself or the kind of music I liked. But then I realized that that's a lie. These are all lies I'm telling myself. Mm. All kinds of music that I make is from me. Okay. So no matter what it is, I should be able to like it. Mm. Whether Afrobeat, whether Azuntu, whether that, it's still from me. Yeah. So I don't feel like, I don't feel like I should feel like, bad about it yeah it's just still music for me whether anything it is so yes i'll just keep doing it okay. it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and so solo far. said yeah yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i guess you so far from that time though yeah. till now there's been a lot of you know years all all through yes. what have you been doing as lady jane um so uh i was working with uh panji pigeon music before yeah. you guys okay. know and then I worked with a branding company a bit, and then it didn't a work. A branding company? Yes. So you went off music? No, 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 no. It was still music, by the way. I was trying to get that image, because at that time, start 2014, 13, mm -hmm. everybody was saying branding, branding, branding. Yeah. They made it feel, seem as if it was some big deal. Mm. So yeah, I was working with some branding company. It didn't work, because branding, mm. <laughs> if you don't have the music, and yeah, yeah Juma. And after I went to music business school in Canada, okay. because after a while, I wanted to really understand what I was doing, what I was getting myself into. Because previously, I'd been doing stuff, I'd been signing contracts, yeah. and I didn't understand what, what the, the percentages there. were. And I was being thrown around left, right. I was being beaten up. I was assaulted. Oh, are you serious? Oh, Physically? Yes. Oh, yes. I was wow. abused and assaulted. By, by one your of, manager? Not my manager, but one of the work people I used to work with from before. So I just decided, you know what? You say you want to do the music. Mm. At least go and learn. Nothing Go to true. uni and get it. So that's, I got the opportunity. My mother helped me. Yeah. I went to Canada. I was in Canada for a year and a half. We did the business and music courses. Yeah. So right now I know what I'm doing. Exactly. So what do you think you got wrong at the time? Um, what I got wrong at the time, I'm going to be really honest okay. with you. Okay. We want to hear it all. So when you start music at first, yes. you feel like, oh yeah, you want to get famous. You want to get big and you want everybody to know you. What I learned is this, okay. music, the talent, automatically, yeah. it comes with the fame. How do you mean? Like, I can sing, okay. right? Let's say I can sing. No matter what I do, mm -hmm. I can sing. Okay. So you can't go and go and say that you're looking for fame and they are going to go and show on the, the music. Now, if you for do the music, the okay. fame go come plus one. With that, okay. Yes. But before or no, now they used to make you feel like if you are not everywhere, who need be beer? If you are not popping up everywhere, let like just say who they who make you. You're not doing it. Mm -hmm. Right. But it was wrong because I shouldn't have thought like that. I should have just realized that no matter what I do, because I have 
a beautiful talent, yeah. a fame, no, it will come of it. I see. Mm -hmm. So it, it was just basically about your mindset. Yes. You didn't quite understand the way the industry was. But I didn't understand it. Mm. So we are. I didn't say yeah, yeah, no, but no, we just we just kept going around in circles yeah. and in circles. But now we know where we're going. We have a plan, plan. and we have a focus, and we're going going towards that. Yeah. In the past, you've um, collaborated with a few uh, other people yes. who I, I would say are not exactly underground and they are not exactly mainstream as well. Yes. You know, we have the Dex, we have Ria, yes. and a few others as well. Yeah. But I've not seen that many collaborations with you know women in the industry, and it's something that is. You know, catching on now. You have even the men doing that yeah, all the time. So I what's do happening it. with our women? For me, when I came back, I realized something that if you want to go fast, okay. go alone. Yeah. But if you want to go far, you go with, with people. Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm a feminist because I'm not, but I'm very pro-woman. Mm. I If there's any situation, even if the woman is wrong, cry, I cry, I <laughs> say they be. And you're about to go home. later, and I'm a catch and pack on and say, oh, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Mm. But yeah, like for me in the industry, I love, I love musical beings. Yeah. And somebody like Ria Boss, mm. I love them. So I can't sit down and just be watching yeah. amazing singers there when we can make magic. So that's why exactly. I do it. I've done a song with Ria. I've done a song with Sue. Okay. I don't know if you guys know Sue. I've done a song with Effia as well. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's more female collaborations going to come out. I don't shy away from working with women because okay. when women are together, we are stronger. We are stronger. Okay, yes. I like that belief. Well, your new song um, would be premiering tomorrow, but we yes! have the behind the scenes um, that would be... The, the new song is, is, is going to be launched tomorrow. Yes. But we have the behind the scenes. Uh, so we'll play that in a bit, but let's talk a bit more about, you know, your uh, collaborations. You were yes. talking about uh, working with Effia. I wanted to talk to talk a bit about that. You were with Effia for the longest time, yes. but I hadn't really seen any work from you. Hmm. It's <laughs> The way this life is, yeah. you, there's time with everything. Mm. When I was with him, I mean, when I was with her, it's one of the most, like, encouraging times in my life i'm still with her she's okay. my baby and everything it's just that right now everybody is doing what they have to do mm. um sometimes when you're making music if you're not in the right mindset yeah if you're not strong enough mm. you you will not be able to give so i feel like for years and years i wasn't in the strong mindset and mm. if you're not strong enough somebody can't help you that's true me i had her help i had her help but right. if me myself i don't want to help myself mm. how can somebody help me mm. so i think that the reason why maybe you didn't hear a lot from me when i was with her is because me myself no not me not engineer you not fin i me share my stance okay you were trying to find your feet my feet yeah. and what i was doing is i was just soaking and just like just watching her and trying to see how best I can learn or how best I can take the little things that she's taught me, yeah. add it to myself, and, and, be, and be a better person mm, for me. For you. So for her, you know, she, she's a gate opener. She's the open gate for people. <laughs> she sounds to the open window. Yeah? Yes. She's open the, the one. For you too. She nice will word. open it for you. But if you don't... Bring your 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 own like energy. Uh, yeah. You can't expect. Yeah, you have to put in the yes, effort as well. You have well. to, yes. Otherwise, yes. then you don't really want it. But ah, me dey wahe bibia. No, wahe bibia. Well, let's let's take a look at the trailer as well um, for the video that you're launching tomorrow. That's yes. for you, 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 and that's you. The, <laughs> ah, you. That's the latest song. Yeah. So let's take a look at that, and you tell me a bit about it as well. Okay. All right. This is actually with Magnum. Yes. And I'm seeing a, a, a change in flavor as well. It's not as <laughs> soulful as it was. It's sounding very, very different. Tell me a bit more about For You, You, You. So I wanted to try something different. Okay. So like, like usual, I went to the studio. I was like, Charlie, Maggie. I mean, I call him Maggie. <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> I call him, I was like, Maggie, 
was with a lady. I've been thinking of this song for you. It's a lady. It's just a hit. Mm. When you play that beat, I was like, this is a hit. I don't like it. He was like, lady, trust me. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Let's write it. It is a hit. So I was there, I was arguing, I was still arguing with him, and I was like, you, 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 cry. <laughs> when I said that, you, 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 you. Exactly. and he was like, lady, for you, 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 <laughs> that we put it. So like, this song is not, I won't say that like, it's something I was trying, and it was fun. Mm -hmm. I liked it, and I liked that Magnum encouraged me, because he encouraged me. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. And now see how beautiful it how is. Beautiful. Like it, it really does look beautiful. It's really, really I love I'm the excited color about it. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so you're launching that tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow at Wahala. We're launching Wahala Entertainment oh, tomorrow at Zen Garden. Mm. And we're going to be doing the video premiere of my song for you, you, you. At the same uh, yes, event? Yes, at the same event. Okay. So we're oh. doing like vid video premiere, stroke, Wahala Entertainment, mm. like media launch. Yeah. So it's gonna be really exciting. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I, I understand that that's happening in the evening, so. <laughs> Five to eight. Anybody who wants to come, yeah. come, I'll be there. It's a free event, isn't it? <laughs> Yes. So we should just come in and experience you. Well, congratulations once Thank again. You so much, it looks like 2020 has started really well for you. I am and I'm ready. sure there are a lot more collaborations to go as well. Plenty. So, ooh. Plenty. Drop one name, one name, one name, and let's go. Hmm. One name. Stone Boy. Oh my goodness, Stone Mama. Boy. Joey B. <laughs> oh, Joey B and Stone Boy on your latest album. Oh, yes. Hmm. The Joey B song is done. The Stone Boy one is in my head. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, we can follow you on social media to get uh, yes. all the updates as well. You can Lady follow me J. at Lady J Lives on Instagram. Okay. Lady J Lives on Twitter. Lady J Lives on SoundCloud and Facebook as well. Right. And you guys, come tomorrow. Come and check us out. <laughs> okay. I'll be looking we nice. Will. Thank you so much, Lady J, for <laughs> joining too, us. Babes.